The people of God, blessing to you all. Happy New Year to all of you who are out there in America and around the world, Mr. and Mrs. at Sea. All of you going into 2024, it's going to be a wonderful year for some of you and not so wonderful for the others of you. I'm glad I said that. Listen, there are two types of prophets. There's the prophets that always give you all of the riches and the fame and the prosperity messages saying that you're coming out. This is your year and uh, you, you're going to get all these things at the beginning of the year. You, I'm telling you, um, typically that is the prophet or prophetess that you will come in contact in America and in Africa, especially a lot of shysters there. Then you got the other prophets who, who speak only doom and gloom and destruction and chaos and apocalyptic everything. Today we're going to talk about the latter, celestial. And celestial, as I saw one video, I was a little nerved by it. And then, then it came to me that the more I watched her videos, the more I realized that's my ex-wife. See you in 60. It's the show that will get you thinking And where the topics are hot Feel free to comment Whether we agree or not Cause he's got something to say Sir Walter Jones Sir Walter Jones Seven days a week, always on time, but this time is not free. So Walter Jones, always on sleep. Latest trending topics had you jumping out your seat. He's got something to say. Come on in. The water's fine. Hello, everybody. So Walter, so Walter Jones Show. I'm here. It is the uh, midday connection, baby. Come on in. The water is fine. Again, happy new year to all of you all. I hope you had a good time last night at your watch night services and the rest of y'all who made stay at home with the family. God bless all of you. Today we're talking about celestial. And let me tell y'all something. This is a tough show. Tough. If I ever wanted to purposely end my career, today is the day. Why did y'all share this event on your wall? And thinking that I was going to speak well of her. Huh? I put this event up yesterday, Sunday afternoon or Sunday evening. You all were sharing it on your wall as if I was going to speak well and praise this woman. You obviously don't know the Sir Walter Jones show. Was it something in the description that made you think? That I was going to praise Celeste? Huh? This woman has all the attributes of my ex-wife. I spotted her right away. And this is why I'd be asking God, why is it, it that the, the spirit, the gift of discerning of spirits is not among the saints? How is it that these saints are in church, out of church, talking to to? Those who say and act like they're spiritual and you can't see that there's a problem, that there's a hole in the bucket. And you witches and warlocks who are going to come try to come after me after this. You are going to show yourself in front of all the people in my community who you are. Why did you think I was going to praise her? Huh? Huh? When that girl did that prophecy about Jake's, that's when her channel and her fame took off. Jake's team has been trying to shut down YouTube channels ever since that Sunday. He got up there and says, I'm, I'm not going to address it, a lie. And then he addressed the lie throughout his sermon. And then they went back and redacted it. They went back and took that part out. That is a punk move. 
So the, the content creators began to share that video and everybody who shared that video got hit by YouTube copyright infringements and what have you. And they was, they were getting, their videos were being taken down and blocked. I knew that was going to happen, which why I never played no portions of that service because I know how it work. I ain't touch it. I just talked about it. He already had enough receipts out there. So when I played this woman, I specifically says, well, I don't know if she's a prophet or not, a, a true prophet or not, because what she said about Jake's, it sounds damaging. And then y'all was like, don't talk about it yet. Wait till Jake's receipts come out. Do I need to wait for Jake's receipt to come out to look at her body of work? So I went back and did what the Bereans do. You all are horrible Bereaniites. They listened to what the apostles said and they took it home to see if what they were saying was sound. I went and took home. I, I, I did the same thing by binge watching her videos and I came to a conclusion that she is not a sound prophet. She has bewitched, bewildered, and bothered all of you all. You got pulled into her lair. And I've got some proofs here. I'm going to play some videos. How is it possible that y'all get so caught up in somebody who looks pretty, brown skin, young, and the women are worse than the brothers? Why did y'all think I was going to praise her? <laughs> Let me tell y'all what I saw. A wind came from the north, up from Russia. Strong wind went over into California, hovered over California, this wind. And I saw the mouth of a man blowing from his nostrils and his mouth, a strong wind down on Los Angeles and it covered the city. The city that was covered, the wind hit the dirt and the dust went up into the air and caused a dust storm. The dust storm went north into the Sacramento area and turned and went due east. Traveled and like the dust storms uh, of uh, the 1930s and 40s, it went all throughout Wyoming and the Dakotas and Milwaukee and it kept going east and it went over into the Atlantic Ocean and it covered this city I heard say, the, the Spirit said new this new city this new city and there was a woman in the harbor where the torch was and this dust doused the light I made up all that. Sounds convincing, don't it? It is the siren song that you all keeps getting pulled into it, especially you silly women. And the only thing that was missing is this. That's the only thing missing. She didn't need music. But she got this. And every time I do a demonstration with the prayer cloth, it is the women in the audience go crazy and say, can I have that prayer cloth, Brother Jones? I'm sick of you. I'm sick of you, and God is sick of you. Y'all are easy, like Sunday morning. The meaning of celestial is brilliant. She's brilliant with what her alluring and siren song is brilliant. The sky is 
terrestrial and the outer limits or the outer space is what's called telestial and then the heavens is where God is. Paul said he was caught up in the third heaven. That is celestial. It's a brilliant, brilliant marketing scheme. Women keep contacting me in my community and not in my community and saying, Brother Jones, I've been watching her and everything she says sounds sound, but something's different, something strange. And I tell the women, the Holy Ghost is talking to you. Your ears is not itching as much as you thought it was. The spirit is speaking especially to you. Walk away and turn that mess off before you get lured into that. Because women love prophets, especially women prophets. And Celeste will always be relevant. You know why? For the same reason why if I had kept that bit up about the wind coming from Russia over California, if I had kept that bit up and shut the show down, I would have been relevant. And thousands of people would have subscribed to my channel if I had kept that mess up. You will always be relevant when you don't set a date. You'll always be relevant when you do end time prophecies. You'll always be relevant. And most of you who have heard from Celestial cannot bring a receipt of anything coming to pass. You know why? Because she's able to give you end time stuff that will happen based off of what the scripture has already said. That's why I'm so tired of you prophets. I'm sick of you. The prophets and the apostles laid the foundation. God canonized the book, got it closed, and whatever I need to hear from God, I hear from him directly or I hear from the word of God through the canonized text. I don't need you to be bringing somebody in on YouTube and Facebook and TikTok and bringing men from all over the world into my church, making us pay all this money to hear something that I already got from the word of God. Sit your butt down. The Lord is able to use people to give a prophetic word through word of wisdom and word of knowledge. But as far as the office of a prophet, watch out. Miss me. And these women are being deceived. Like this is why lesbianism is so heavy today. And more men are committing suicide right now than they're, join they're joining the red pill community because of this mess right here. You think I'm scared of y'all? Delete me. Those of you who are at my media, my moderators on YouTube, don't delete nobody unless you think that they are going to be a, a dangerous ploy. Or if they are hackers, delete them. But don't be deleting folk because you dislike what they say. Leave the comments up there. I want everybody to see who we're dealing with. These witches and warlocks are coming out today. You actually think that I fear you, the weapons of our, war, of our warfare is not carnal. We don't fight flesh and blood. Do you understand? And none of those weapons that are formed against me, the man of God, it ain't going to, it can't prosper. But I'm not going to be bullying you like she does. I'm telling you, I got too much receipts. Everything Celeste touch is destroyed. Everything she touches is destroyed. I'm going to prove it to you. First of all, she said that God literally sits by her bedside and waits for her to wake up so that he can talk to her. What kind of... I got receipts. There's a prophetic word that was delivered to me as soon as I came out of sleep. This is God's fashion. It's either he's visiting me in my sleep, talking to me, showing me mind movies, showing me um, visions of the night, which are prophetic dreams, or sometimes he will wait by the bed like a puma. And the second I open my eyes, the Lord God is already like, oh, good. Thank God. She's awake. She called God a puma. That's a cat. And he's sitting there waiting. Purr, 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 waiting for her to wake up so that he can continue to talk to her all morning, all afternoon, all night. And y'all keep falling for this mess. Let me show y'all something. Here's a video, 
and I got some time stamps here. This one is called Do Not Touch, Do Not Mishandle the Holy Things. This video, when I watched it, it was five months ago. That one video, she made one statement, and then I realized, this is my ex-wife. I'm about to play it. When she said this, I said, I know who this woman is. I thought she looked familiar. She is caught up into old law. She loves the Mosaic law. She loves the old covenant. She loves the Old Testament. She loves the Torah. She loves the old God who was destroying people. She loves it. She has an Israelite mannerism about herself, almost like black Israelite. Arabian, Muslim. She has all of those. She's in love. She's romantically in love with the old way. Here's her words. See, because the things that I'm speaking of in this message, people do it all over the world. I publish the prophecies in long form and I also publish them in short, short form. But no matter where I publish them, the majority overwhelmingly say that they are lies and they say it in ways really that no one should speak to another person they say it in ways that are so derogatory with language that is foul sometimes and they say it in ways unaware that i am speaking what god has said to them so this part is for everyone and i've been saying it consistently and you cannot say you never heard it before god told me to tell you that we are now in the old testament That is, the, that is the biggest bull I've ever heard in my life. Y'all heard this and fell into her arms, right into her bosom. She lied on God. How long are y'all going to be nescient? This chick lied on God and y'all are running over there to her, her, her blogs. She, she erased the new covenant. He totally erased the purpose of Jesus being on the cross. Totally erased the dispensation of grace. Totally erased it and said, we are in the Old Testament. What kind of bull is that? Huh? Let me get excited, okay? Let me get excited. This is my time. People will pay for their words. People will pay for their deeds. People will pay for their presumption. Here's what she did in this video. She's talking about me. She's talking about me. She said in this 44 minute video that anybody who takes her material and repurposes it, God is coming after you. And every time she gives a prophecy, it's always something about boils on your butt, on your backside. Her depiction, her visions is so salacious, so vitriol that she's so in love with the old God of the Old Testament that she do not want you to go after her. That's what she's saying here. So she is the do not uh, touch, not my prophet, do, do uh, my known to do my prophet no harm. This is what she's doing in this 44 minutes. And she's bringing up examples of a woman who did this and repurposed. And she talked about uh, AI and how it takes her stuff and, and turns it into another language and all these things. And she says, you better not do this or God is going to destroy you all. And then she talks about a woman who's, who was, could not sleep or could not rest because this illness, malaise, had hit her body and she, she could not rest and what have you. And she was trying to figure out, and the doctors were trying to heal her and couldn't heal her. And then she had a dream, and then God told her why she was, this was happening to her. It's because she went against Celeste, her, his, his master prophet. And so even though she repented, Celeste says God would not accept her repentance, and then God killed it. And you all keep falling for this crap. This is why when she came forth with the T.D. Jakes prophecy, notice what she said. She said, and I thought it was ambiguous, but then I watched, I listened to it again, and she basically said God is going to kill him. Everything she touches dies. Everything. Everybody dies. Let me go to 35. 
Sick of you people. It was for pointing fingers and saying wicked things to those who carry the messages of God and for speaking about them with malice. God says that we are going back to the Old Testament. We will pay for the things that we say. It won't be one of those, oh God, I'm so sorry. I thought it was a lie, but now I'm back. We Did you hear that? You can't repent, she's saying. You can't say, God, I'm sorry. All you evangelists out there, all you missionaries out there, you're wasting your time. You can't repent because she's in the Old Testament. You need to be careful because it's not Celestial sitting here and speaking. It is the Lord sitting here and speaking. And he says that his things are precious and there is a way to approach. And I have made that way to approach known multiple times. But here is what God said. He said that a lot of people out there when he was giving me this message, that part is not written down, but I already spoke it. He said a lot of people out there, they have the heart of Achan. As I said in the beginning, Achan was not hearing repaired. Achan was one of the right age working men who was in the. She talks about Achan. She loves the Old Testament so much that she's comparing you all to Achan who went against God, she says. And because he went against God, what happened was Achan's family, wife and children all had to die because of the sin of Achan. Even though God says, I will not punish the, the children for the sins of the parents. She went back and erased that and said, we in the Old Testament, she loves destruction. When she talks about America, she loves to talk about the destruction of America. She hate this country. She hate it. Look in, uh, on her blog. Look at how she, and this girl is smart. Let me tell you, this girl is smart. She's intelligent. She understands uh, the world structure. She might be a lawyer. She might be a businesswoman. She's very, uh, uh, very wise um, in She's, she's skillful in language. She has a gift to talk, or y'all you know may consider the gift of gab. And that's how she gets y'all in there. She loves to talk about how Russia is going to come to America. She got this, this series on um, aliens, the supernatural UFOs and alien life. She's into mysticism. She has private knowledge, so she's into Gnosticism, syncretism. She's into all that, that mess. Dana Coverstone did the same mess. Dana Coverstone, y'all remember him? He prophesied that boots would be on the ground. And y'all went ham. Y'all went ham. Y'all remember Dana? Uh... Bald head brother. Since that time, he took the video down. But Dana Coverstone had y'all. Here he is right here. This is Dana. Remember him? He took it down, but then this was a, a few years ago. And then he, he got updated. God warns America again for September through December of 2023. Remember that dream he had? And it went all over the world. And all of the all of the uh, the TBNs and uh, all of the conservative media was interviewing him, and they all got st start shaking in their boots because they was waiting for Russia to, and it never happened. And then he had to take it down, like tr like Jake had to take his video down, at least a portion of his video down. And you women, you women, you e you either love conferences or you love prophets. Or you love the prophets at these conferences. I did a show called Conference Whores. You are conference whores. And I upset it a bunch of women. I I got in so much trouble. I offended y'all so bad because I called you a bunch of conference whores. That's all you love. You wake up and you can't wait for the next conference to come. You are a conference whore. Let me tell you something. I never apologize for saying that i will never apologize if the shoe fit you need to wear it are you a conference or a profit whore this one right here called the emulators of desire this girl loves sex listen to what she says here she's into it
with their friends at 11 and 12 years old could just shave the head off a grown uh, uh, off a grown up from shock but i still think that this is the time to labor intensively to bring back the core of innocence to your children as much as you can and so they need to understand what god is saying but you as the parent will decide how much they need to know and so i've decided to forego part two of the series which was just more teaching about the things that god says um, one of the things that god was speaking about in part two of profanity of profanities is that this fallacy of God uh, God hates the sin, but he loves the sinner. The Bible says that God is angry with the wicked every day. So if you are aligning yourself with a lifestyle of sin, you have actually made it the path you are walking. You see what she's saying here? God don't love you. He can't stand the sinner. She took scripture and, and made it a part of her platform of destruction. So nobody's got a chance. As soon as you sin against God, you will die. So she conveniently brought in that God loves the, the, the sinner but hates this. Why the heck would Jesus commend his love while you were yet in sin? How could she say that God don't love the sinner if God sent his only begotten son for the sinner? Because she has a platform. She has an agenda. She's in love with the old way. She wants you all to die. Do not in especially sexually. Any way listen to the false teaching out there that God is in love with you. God is angry and his weapons are in Let me go to 12 if minutes here. Let me show you something in 12 1202 12. Let's go to 12 should exercise their own caution as to how they will expose their children to these things. These are very difficult things for me to see. The Lord shows me a lot of graphic sexual. Right there. She's going to tell y'all why she always get on here and prophesize about sex. Homosexual, gay sex, lesbian sex, uh, BDSMs, uh, masochism. And all these, she drinks that stuff up. She loves it. She's telling you that God keeps showing her this stuff. Imagery and as a single woman, keeping myself pure, these things are not easy for me to see. They cause me great irritation. And that God wants her to stay pure because she's single. So what does God do? He shows her some of the most... Some of the most salacious visions all day long. That is sometimes why the word is delivered with strength because the Lord brings these prophecies to me with the same strength of someone frustrated that his creation continues to defile itself in these. Now, you're sexually frustrated. Let me tell y'all something. A woman like this was easy for me to get in the bed. A woman like this who had all of this talk that she talking about i have friends in my circles who often we talk about women like this and we would we used to sit in front of the church and, and outside the church and look inside and see these women jumping up and down speaking in tongues laying hands and falling out and we say which one of these are you gonna sleep with tonight and i would say i'm gonna get that one. Oh no that's impossible she she's holier than now no that one right there is the easiest one for me to sleep with her panties would be off give me two days i'll have her panties off and he would say, give me that one. That one right there, I got her. That one right there. This one will say, the first lady, I got her. And never failed. Women like this is easy. This is my ex-wife. The same, And I'm, I'm going to talk about why. This is my ex. Listen to her. Ways. And then there is my own frustration that I am forced to look at these kinds of things. She's forced to look at it. Will be done. So the Lord gave me this at nine o'clock in the morning. And the words that he spoke to me were emulators of desire. I'm going to so 14 that is minutes. I woke up with at nine o'clock on the morning. 14 the minutes. I read. I have seen an evil among the sons of men. This is what God said to me. And so I said, uh, what is the evil Lord? And instantly the Lord flashed me some images. The first image, I saw a person who was leaning forward on a stool, 
So they were leaning like leaning against a bed or leaning against a stool and they were naked and another person was stuffing what looked like a string of pearls into their behind. So yes, it was a string of pearls almost like a rosary and the beads were of different sizes. So some of them were small and some of them were big and from the shapes of their bodies I could see that it was two men doing this. So I saw their arms and their thighs and I was, I was immediately upset because that's just the reaction I have when the Lord just does these things. And I said, God, why are you showing me this? Why do I have to see it? And the Lord said, because they make me very weary with this evil and my prophets are unaware that this happens. So God shows her gay sex with pearls going up a man's behind as another man is pushing it up there. And she gets thrill off of this. Y'all, I wasn't born yesterday. I was born late in life, but I, I sure as heck wasn't born yesterday. I got more stuff here, y'all. This one here is called the Valley of Vision. But no help. I'm going to go to the 15-minute mark. Listen to this. 15 minutes and about 50 seconds, maybe. Have demonstrated to me. See, many people, they come to this blog and they say things against the Lord that distress me. And I have said before, I do not care what you say against me personally, but when you have Let the me temerity and the 20, audacity to speak uh, recklessly oh, wait, 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 and God wait, wait, wait. even sorry. more, fifteen, the people that come here and speak against the okay. Lord and say, why isn't he giving us more time? And why is he doing this now in our day? And why is he so harsh? And why is he an Old Testament God? And the questions puzzle me. Who taught you that God separates himself into an Old Testament God and a New Testament God? Where did you cherry pick the lies that have filled your soul that you do not understand that the scripture says, Hear now, O Israel, I, the Lord God, am one and I change not. I am the same from generation to generation. You see what she's I doing? She, she's, she's isolating the text. She hates dispensationalism. She hates it. She needs God to stay in the Old Testament. She needs him to stay back there and destroy mankind. She needs it. So anybody who talks about the new and what's called better covenant with Jesus Christ dying on the cross and rising for us, becoming first fruit, she hates that Jesus. She talks like a Muslim. She talks like a Hebrew Israelite. She talks like someone who thinks she's doing God's bidding. And the people who are following her, who's attacking me in the comment section right now, they think they're doing God's bidding by telling me to take my mouth off of this woman here. They got caught up in there drinking her Kool-Aid. Y'all can't see this crap. I'm the first and even unto the last. I am he. Who taught you that God changes through the dispensations to suit whatever candy fluff your Bible study? Because you have not studied the scriptures. He's not changing. He has already laid out his plan. He already know what the future hold. We know what it hold. Paul told us about the mystery. It has been exposed to us what it is. We have the canonized book. At the end, we win. So all God is doing is executing his plan. He changed not because he's executing his plan. It was always his plan to give us Jesus Christ. It was always his plan to give us a dispensation of grace. You don't like the plan. Group, or your misled and deceived pastor, him or herself, or your completely fooled Christian denomination has taught you. Who told you that God exists to do things at your pleasure? At your pleasure, Celeste. You want people to die. He ain't giving you these visions. This is you. This is your pleasure. Or to suit your timetable. Let me I had go a to conversation 24. with a young woman many years ago. She was 17 or 18 then. 50. And I was sharing with her, buddy, who had been taken prisoner because America had been so soundly defeated. Please hear my voice when I tell you that no help will come to us in this country. No help. There is no help coming. The no Lord help. has said in multiple prophecies that France will not come. Germany will not come. No help. And he says that if NATO raises a hand to help you, he will destroy them. You all are the going to die. Of Russia and China. He said that any nation that crosses him to offer America in assistance 
at the time of her judgment, that nation, even though he never planned to destroy that nation, because that nation is not part of Revelation 17 and 18, it's not part of Mystery Babylon's judgment. She thinks that America is Mystery Babylon. She don't even understand the scriptures. America is not Mystery Babylon. I've done the studies on Revelation on your YouTube channel. Y'all can go back and if you've joined the bunkers or go to my, our Patreon, uh, it's in the description below. You'll hear a lot of my teachings. She don't even know the scriptures. She's in love with the Old Testament and she's in love with the book of Revelation. She loves apocalyptic teaching. She loves this stuff. She drinks this up. Look to, And for those of you who are pre-rapture, uh, who are uh, pre-trib rapture, she hates you too. Y'all don't even know. Many of you who are people who believe in the rapture, she hates the rapture teaching. She's totally against it because... She thinks that you are supposed to. Every nation is the lie that the Church of Jesus Christ has a very important upcoming appointment. Any minute now, they're going to lift. She says all churches that teach the rapture, talking about a, a, an appointment that's coming, y'all are liars. Up off the ground as by a supernatural wave. And, and then watch what she says about you all who have hope in Christ. Carried somewhere. They will not have to be tried. They will not have to be tested. Their love for Jesus Christ and even... Their Christianity itself, is it real? Is it pure? Is it true? Is it rooted and grounded in the actual scripture? Or is it simply rooted and grounded in their expectation, the left behind movies that they've been watching all their lives, the left behind books that they've been reading since they were eight years old, whatever they feel is true, the rapture channels that keep getting it wrong. Thank you, Tiff. It's given Hebrew Israelite with a splash of apostolic teaching. My ex-wife. My ex-wife, I spotted right away, especially when she started having these visions of sex. I'll explain. Just hold on, y'all. Don't go nowhere. Don't, just hold year on. Year after year in America, but they never lose subscribers because all you need to do in America to correct a wrong prophecy is delete the video and your subscribers will not complain. They will tell you, we all get it wrong, brother. God is speaking to the church and telling the church that you will make yourself go through unnecessary pains if you continue to hold on to lying doctrines that have sprung up in the end times, that have only sprung up in the last 60 to 70 years, but they're being repeated as if they are scripture and canon. If you continue to walk in the deception that you are so special to God that you cannot be tried, that you cannot be tested, that the only thing that you need to prove love to God is this thing that I'm pointing to right here, my mouth, that all you have to do is say with your mouth, Lord, Lord, and it's going to be logged in heaven that you are a true blood washed, dedicated Christian who would never deny Jesus. The only way to find out who is going to deny Jesus is the uprising of a time and times and half a time in which y'all hear that you people who just saying that you believe and you agree on the cross, you gave your life to the Lord. You have now a close fellowship with Jesus Christ. You're not doing enough. You must be martyred. You must go through the tribulation and you must be beheaded. You got to die to prove your love to Christ. Y'all are some of the sickest people I've ever seen. I have friends who don't believe in the rapture. It doesn't matter to me. Listen, we, they're, not, they're not even this worse. They're not this bad. I have special friends who I love very dearly who believe in either mid-trib or post-trib rapture. I don't have a problem with them at all. But this chick right here is saying that y'all are not doing enough. You need to die. That will prove whether Jesus Christ is Lord to you or not. And no one is getting out of it. Nobody's escaping. The time of the marchers is prophesied in the book of Revelation chapter 6. This is an occult. This is a cult leader. And if she was the head of a church, it would be 99.99% .99 silly, gullible women in that church. And she would lead them all 
to cyanide lace Kool Aid. She already believed in aliens. The Heaven's Gate cult took their lives laying in the bed because they was waiting for a comet to come. That's celestial. It's in her name. And their time will come. Martyrdom is part of the church, a time-honored part of the church. The Lord Jesus Christ sees the work of the martyrs as so holy that he has said here many times, you can't even become a martyr if you want it to. To them in heaven, it is seen as that exclusive. You can't be a martyr just because you say, oh, I hope I get martyred. Not everyone gets to be a martyr because it is one of the highest levels of decoration in God's kingdom. See that? If you want to have a higher decoration in God's kingdom, you got to lose your head. You got to die in order to get to the high part of heaven. Got nothing to do with your works on the earth. Gold, silver, precious metals, precious stones, what have you. No, you got to die. He she, lives in, she lives in a bizarre world. The Lord said that up until the moment that a marcher is about to be marchered, they may not have known when they woke up that day that that will be the day that they breathe their last. So for this church to think that they can come up with mindless slogans like Jesus wouldn't beat up his bride, this is the embarrassment of the American church. That she lied on scripture. She lied. Revelations chapter 3 talked about ek, out, or dia, through. He says he will preserve his saints. And she's going against even Prophet Manasseh. Prophet Manasseh said, I'm not going to play his video. He said something different. These prophets are not even lining up with each other. Prophet Manasseh said, and he put it on his, his channel the other day, that uh, a destruction is coming to America. Sounds of the trumpet academy, alchemy or something like that. Uh, this one right here. He said that death is coming to America. That uh, not this one. He he was he was this was he he re this one right here. That one right there. This was a 2013 prophecy. You can go there, Manasseh Jordan prophecy to America in 2013. He put this up a year ago, and in this video he says that death and destruction is coming to America, but the saints will be preserved. You can't make this. You can't make this up. Even the prophets are divided on what God has said. You can't make this stuff up, y'all. You just can't. You can't make this up. Look what the scriptures say here. She's guilty of Luke chapter nine. Jesus sends out the 12 disciples. Herod gets confused. Jesus feeds 5,000. Peter declaration about Jesus. Then Jesus predicts his death. Then comes the transfiguration. All right. She's in that transfiguration right there. She's in there. And then Jesus heals a demon possessed boy. And then Jesus again predicts his death. Then the greatest in the kingdom. Who's the greatest in the kingdom? His disciples began to argue about which of them was the greatest. But Jesus knew their thoughts, and so he brought a little child to his side. She is asking, who's going to be the greatest in the kingdom? Celeste is. And she wants y'all to die to be the greatest in the kingdom. But Jesus is saying, no, anyone who welcomes a little child like this on my behalf welcomes me. And anyone who welcomes me also welcomes my father. She got rid of that. Using the name of Jesus. John said to Jesus, 
Master, we saw someone using your name to cast out demons, but we told him to stop because he isn't in our group. She hates it when you all repurposes her videos and use it uh, to benefit her. She said, don't do it. But Jesus said, don't stop. Don't stop him. Anyone who was not against you is for you. And then comes the opposition from the Samaritans. Look at this. As the time drew near for him to ascend into heaven, to heaven, Jesus resolutely set out for Jerusalem. He sent messengers ahead of Samaritan village to prepare for his arrival. But the people of the village did not welcome Jesus because he was on his way to Jerusalem. They did not welcome Jesus. When James and John saw this, look what they said to Jesus. Lord, should we call down fire from heaven to burn them up? That is celestial. But Jesus turned and rebuked her through the Sir Walter Jones. So, so they went on to another village. She wants God to bring down fire and brimstone and destroy all of you all who speaks against her and who don't obey Christ. Not Christ, God. She, not, she don't really care about Christ. She likes that old God. And let me tell you, I did a show called Mental Illness is in Your Praise. Find that, Rogers. Mental illness is in your praise. I talk about how the reason why there are many problems in the church is because people have mental illness and they're going and attending your church. They attend your church. And when Mother Mayhem act the way she do, you think that that's the Holy Ghost. No, that's her mental illness acting up. First lady acts the way she does. That woman is bipolar. When Deacon Bobo acts the way he is, you think that he's on his, he, he, the Lord is sending him to do so. No, he has a mental illness. He has trauma. Uh, he has PTSD. Something happened. He, he was molested as a child, all kinds of stuff. He brings it to church and he acts at like, and so this is my ex. Everything I see in her is my ex. And I think, and I cannot because of the rule of the APA, they call it the Barry Goldwater rule. You're not supposed to diagnose anybody who, has, who are not your client. I get it, but they changed the rules on that. Hence Donald Trump coming on the scene. They're writing books about Donald Trump. It's not my profession. and It's above my pay grade. But here's what I think the Lord is saying. See what I did? I think Celeste suffers with maladaptive daydreaming. This is a part of an attention deficit. Hyper something disorder. Look at this is a behavior where a person spends an excessive amount of time daydreaming, often becoming immersed in their imagination. This behavior is usually a coping mechanism in people who have mental health conditions like anxiety. For some people, this behavior disrupts work, hobbies, friendship, relationships, and ministry. I'm trying to tell you what I know. Celeste is mentally ill. Issue where a person daydreams excessively, sometimes for hours at a time. It means this type of daydreaming is un unhealthy ne or negative attempt to cope with or adapt to a problem. She's trying to cope. People who do this tend to lose themselves in ex extremely vivid and detailed Daydreams is why she often talk about sex. Research also shows this kind of daydreaming might be compulsive. That means it is difficult. It is not impossible to control that you're doing it. She's mental. The whole church needs to sit on a, on a couch, lay on the couch. 
Y'all need to bring in counselors to this church. Because a woman like this is just as dangerous as a pilot who takes hundreds of people up in the air. And everybody's life is at his hand. He can kill everybody. He can kill everybody. Like that, you all are dead. That's what she does. She's killing y'all. And you don't even know that you are walking dead. That's why you all are in the comments section protecting her and going and attacking me. You are one of her witches and warlocks going after the men of God. You're one. And you don't even see that you're blind. Jesus healed the blind man and says, you're healed now. But those who said you were blind, they're the ones that are blind, but they think they could see. You think you can see. So you call yourself seers. Mental illness is in your praise. She fits the profile of a woman who's in bondage. She fits the profile of a woman who loves erotica. Seduction. Let's go back to Jake's. If you keep making predictions, you're going to be correct. Maybe y'all should put that in the comment section for these people who are here. If you keep making predictions, you're going to be correct. Because a broke clock is correct how many times a day? If you keep prophesying about someone who obviously is in a scandal, Jakes have been in this scandal for years. Through secular media, we've been media, we've been hearing about Jakes and P, uh, P Diddy and other people. We've been hearing about it for years. It is not difficult to make a prophecy about Jake's being exposed. It is not difficult. You all took that one prophecy because something just hit maybe. And she will be relevant until she's not. She has sealed her relevancy in history with you all by that one prophecy she did in 2022, I think it is. She sealed it. And it hit the hearts of you who are weak, especially you women. And these brothers are in the comments section protecting her because they're henpecked. <laughs> the woman in their life wears the pants, not wear a pants. They wear the pants. Henpecked. These men in the comment section are the ones who follow Juanita Bynum. They're the ones who enrolled in her $1,500 class. They're the ones who give their tithes and offerings. And they're the ones who are conference whores. These men. And she emulates a lot of women. Once you put that prayer cloth on, I've seen this all through YouTube. And she got copycatters out there. She prophesied against Marcus Rogers re recently about him doing the things that he did to, to build his channel. And she's doing the same thing he did to build his empire. The same thing. She has a narcissistic trait with the touch of Jezebel. And I will not go down in flames with these other weak people who won't say nothing, won't address it on their social media accounts. They won't because they're afraid. And they are just like Elijah, who did all that work on the mount. And all those prophets died through the mouth of Elijah. God came and lapped up that water. And one woman said, I'm coming to get you. And that boy ran for his life. And God had to rebuke him. Because he thinking all the prophets are dead. And God says, 
Why do you think that all my prophets are dead? And how many God says he had out there? If I wanted to purposely end my career today is the day. So notice she never gives warnings of repentance. It's always you may repent, but you're going to die. You may find a video or two out of the hundreds that she have out there where she might have alluded to that. But most of her videos is you all are going to have boils on your butts. And if you look at all Old Testament prophets who gave warnings, they also gave encouragement. Celeste is a bully. She's a bully prophet. And she pulls on the heartstrings of you who are gullible. And just like Jeremiah, who was bewitched in a sense by Hananiah, who did the same thing she's doing. He 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 symbolically pulled the yoke off of the people's neck and said, God is getting ready to release you. And Jeremiah said, amen, amen. And he walked away and God tapped him on the shoulder and said, roll. I didn't send that fool. Now go back and tell that fool he about to die by the end of the week. The prophets, when they came forth, Jeremiah especially talked about how God found Israel waddling in its filth and its blood. And God picked him up and cleaned Israel, gave him a bath and weaned him and restored Israel, healed Israel protected Israel and then Israel went out there and played the harlot became a prostitute and he talked about Samaria and he said you worse than your sisters Sodom I'm glad he didn't stop there because then he says but God loves you so much that he's going to restore you he's going to restore Samaria he's going to restore Sodom Sodom and Gomorrah will be restored. But if you leave it at the celestial, everybody must die. Even Isaiah says, I'm tired of you all. Your skin is putrefied. He said, I put my hands over my eyes. and I don't want to see your, your new moons and your holy convocations and, and all these things. He said, away with that. Your blood sacrifices, I can't stand it. But then when he got through rebuking them, he says, now, brothers, let us reason together. Though your sin be red as scarlet, I'll make it white as snow. Though it be red as crimson, I'm going to restore you. Every prophet that I see who talks about doom and gloom and how God is going to, he sends them a warning and says, but if you return to God, he's going to restore you. Celeste says, no, you, it's too late for you. You all are reprobates and you're going to die. It is impossible for you to ask for repentance. You all are destined for hell. And you silly women. And here's the thing. The next time I catch COVID or some, a cold or a flat tire, an engine explode or something like that. It could be a car crash, something like that. And y'all find out about it. Her flying monkeys are going to say it's because you put your mouth on the prophet. <laughs> Her flying monkeys. They right here in the comment section. Look at them. Can y'all look at them? They're in the comment section. Her flying monkeys are in the comment section. They could not wait for this show. Ever since I put this event up, they started to tag each other. And they went over there. Celeste is watching this right now. She's watching it. And trust me, there will be a response. Some people are going to take my video and cut it and slice it so that it can make me look silly. Oh, it's coming. I'm prophesying to y'all right now. It's coming. The flying monkeys are watching. They're right here. They're among you. 
They are part of the, the wheat and the tares, the goat and the sheep. They're here. I can't do anything about them, y'all. I can't divide them. Yeah, they, they are the celestiates, <laughs> Daniel. They're the celestiates. I can't do nothing about them. I cannot separate them. Jesus said, I have to do it. God wished that none would perish. Come on, Michelle. They're here. They're here. Here's what a woman said to me. Because the women are coming forth and they're saying, Walter, that woman is a liar and she's a witch. Women are saying this. One woman wrote me and says, women need sound men. However, women of today do not want to be led and instructed by men. The Jezebelian spirit carrying the message of feminism has destroyed females. That's why they are shaking their hinder parts on Instagram and every other reel on social media. Women want to listen to other mentally ill women speak into their lives under the guise of some type of mysticism or a newfangled boss scenario. And it has ruined our country and infested the body of Christ like termites. And we are in a crisis mode. And they're in the comment section. They love it when she talked about all that gay sex, all that romant unromantic to me, all that erotica and visions. That is a person who's struggling physiologically and mentally and spiritually because Satan now can use her mightily to divide and conquer. And Satan can give prophetic visions to someone because Satan knows Satan knows he got eyes like you. He is well aware of what's going on. He can't see into the future. He's not omniscient or omnipresent. No, he can't see into the future other than what we already have, which is canonized in the text. He know the future by what we know, but he don't know specifics on day-to-day -day specifics. He only know by what he sees happening. Or he, again, would be omniscient. He's not all-knowing. So he sees because you see. So Satan can see that somebody got a receipt on T.D. Jakes. And he's got his prophets and prophetists and messengers out there. And he lets them know. Because if I let this one know, this one's got thousands who are following her or him. And I can wipe them all out like a pilot who decides I'm going to wipe out these people and take this plane into the, tr the Twin Towers. Y'all, listen. If you want to continue to walk around in a circle and with itching ears, okay, continue to be bewitched by these women, and these men, you keep doing that. And the day is going to come and you're going, to, you're going to meet the rich man when you open up your eyes. You're going to stand before God. He's going to ask you. These same false, fake prophets are going to be standing before God saying, did not I do these things? Did not I do these for you? Jesus never said you didn't do these. But he will say, depart, you workers of iniquity. Your day is coming. I ain't scared of none of y'all. I've been preaching like this on YouTube, on the Sir Walter Jones show, for it'll be 10 years this year. 10 long years. Years, I have been talking the same way. For some reason, this is the hardest teaching because when I talked about Creflo Dollar, y'all was all right about it. Even though you disagree with me, you was okay. I talked about Jake's, eh, you, you know, you went after me, but you was okay. I talked about 
the brother who just died, uh, Carlton Pearson. More people went after me, but they said, eh, he's just a fool. I talked about Benny Hinn. Y'all like, yeah, I disagree. But leave him alone. He don't know what he's talking about. Why need to bind him? Yeah, you know, she's our prophet. We're, we're conference whores, but, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll go in the comment section and make them look bad. But, yeah. But when I talked about, when I even alluded to Celestial, there was a strong spirit that came. An evil, damnable, destructive spirit that rose up in the women all over the country. This right here is the worst attack from anybody I have ever talked about. This one right here is the worst attack. Why? There's a spirit behind this whole movement. The celestial movement is a spirit. And so the bunkers, they're my community. And they're all over the world. The Lord has given them to me as angels. We all have been given to each other as angels. And they're all way, they're everywhere. They're all they're in variations of continents. They're all over. And they collectively pray for the strength of who they call their pastor, me. So all of you all out there, and you witches and warlocks, and you flying monkeys, who think that you can pray against us, the bunker community, man, you got another thing coming. They are strong in here, and they die for the faith. Come on, mobbing for Christ said, we stand ten toes down. They're everywhere. You cannot penetrate the bunkers. You just can't do it. They are prayer warriors. They have been selected and anointed. They are remnants of God. And there is a hedge around me. You can't touch me. You can poke at me. You can even throw COVID in my nose and I'll get a cold. Yes. But you can't take my life. You can't do it. Because they're here. Jezebel's husband was henpecked, and all the people in that, com in that, in that community, or that circle of influence, they was following, not Ahab, they was following the wife, Jezebel. And Celestial will always be single. Always be single. And if she ever hooked up with a man, he would be Ahab. Go to Patreon, the Sir Walter Jones Show. I will be continuing these deep teachings over there in the upper room for those who just want to know more about how I study the scriptures. We're not charging for the gospel. But what you are paying for is my ability to study and the way I use my systems. You already getting the word of God right here, free of charge. You get the word of God on Facebook from me all the time, all week long, free of charge. But if you're going to go over to Patreon, you're going to learn the back door and all the things that I do. That right there, I'm not doing that for free. Every now and then, I'll give y'all some stuff on the free Patreon, but that $12, no, nah, I'm not doing that for free. No. No, I don't care what y'all say. I ain't doing that for free. I'm going to give y'all, y'all are lazy. That's what you are. You're lazy. You want everything for free. You bought the Bible when you went to the bookstore. You paid for the word, didn't you? Then you're going to tell me I'm charged for the word, but you all that help aids you got and them, them concordances you got, you pay for that stuff. Y'all just lazy. You don't want... <laughs> Nobody give you nothing extra. And then you went to college. Did you not pay for the word of God when you went to college, huh? But I'm, I'm charging for the word, please. No, you, you, I'm charging you for my expertise on how I take certain study habits. 
But you can get the word from me for free. All you got to do is hit me in the email, and I'll, if you got a question in the Bible, I'm going to give it to you, and you ain't never got to cash at me. You ain't never got to PayPal me. You ain't never got to do nothing. I'm going to give the word for God, to God for free. But if you're going to go to Patreon and go to the upper room, you, I'm sorry. I'm not going to kill myself and wear myself out. Y'all going y'all done, y'all done kill all of the real prophets. You kill them because you worked them to death. The real men and women of God, you worked them to death. I've seen my uncles get sick and die because they worked them to death. No, y'all ain't working me. No, you're not. Blessing to you, Potter. Thank you. Those of you who have been giving the super chat, these are the ones who've been blessing me to give to help me to pay for this stuff. This stuff is expensive. These light bulbs go out, mics go out all the time. Uh my computer, this, you know, this is like my ninth laptop. Ninth laptop since I've been going live. Because they 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 fry. They go bad. And Macintosh. Ain't no 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, 600 dollar laptop. No. You got to start at two grand <laughs> for what I need. So the people who are blessing me in the super chat and the PayPal and, 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 and even going to the P.O. box and sending me stuff, they're paying for me to, to preach the gospel and go against people like that. And they, they putting me in college. All right. I start school next week. Why? Because the Patreon people are keeping me in school so that I could continue to teach the way I do. And God is blessing them. I can't tell you how many, how many testimonies have gone forth because they said, brother Jones, I gave him a $12 and you know, it's, it was difficult, but you have given me more in this two weeks that I've been in your, your, your class than I've gotten in five years. That's a blessing. Because that is investing into the kingdom of God. I affect thousands of people by $12. I affect thousands of people's lives, but deeper. You ain't got to pay 12. Go on the So Walter Jones show. I have thousands of videos, not just YouTube, Facebook, and Spreaker, which is my podcast. And uh, tick, not tick, yeah, TikTok. No, not TikTok. What's that thing called now? X. Bless it. Uh, <laughs> Smart Christian channel. He's going to use it to buy a, <laughs> a suit. <laughs> Corey Mine has been a blessing to me. Been a blessing to me. There are other content creators out there. We have been a blessing to one another. Actually, many of the bunkers came here because of Corey Miner. He highlighted me on his show last year, two years ago. I don't remember. And many people f- started following me because of Corey. We in this thing together, y'all. Listen to you, Pat Wilson. We in this thing together. Why are we so divided? Paul said, I, I wasn't crucified for you. You talking about something. I'm with Corey. No, I'm with Walter. I'm with Rodney Jones. I'm with Stock Up with Larry Jones. No, I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm with the standard of truth. Or I'm with all. Really? I, is Christ divided? And Patricia, let me tell you, I put a lot of free stuff on, on Patreon. A lot of free stuff. Everybody over there don't pay $12. I put a lot of free stuff over there. All right? And I'm going to continue to put a lot of free stuff over there because we have a free area over there. We call it the outer court. A lot of free stuff. You want to know about finances? That's $5 over there. Budgeting, the stock market. Cryptocurrency, 401ks, Roth IRAs, that's $5. I got guests coming over here, over there, and they're getting ready to pour their knowledge on you. So for those of you who signed up last month and you're getting ready to get that bill of $12 and you think, uh, any ain't, ain't enough material in here, I'm going to cancel. All right, <laughs> you go ahead, cancel. <laughs> go ahead. Oh, boy, you're going to miss out. <laughs> you're going to miss out this year. You're going to miss out. I love y'all. I really do. It may not sound like I love you because I was rebuking you, but Celeste don't love you. She can't love you. It's almost to the point where she is. In, it's almost like she can't love. That's a sign of a narcissist. How is it that you are going to, you're speaking to the people of God 
And I just don't see Christ acting that way. Just gladly speaking doom and gloom and death and, and mayhem and destruction. And you can't repent for your sins. God wants to take you back to the Old Testament. And then when you're using examples of visions, it's got to be gay sex. I cannot believe I cannot believe I'm in the world like this. I cannot believe this is a, this is a beautiful microphone, y'all. Y'all should get this. This is the D, the DJI. It's, it's great, it's great. I cannot believe how far the church has fallen. Doctrines of devils. Super apostles. Same thing Paul had to deal with. In the Corinthian church Prostitutes Diviners Sorcerers Witches Disguising themselves As the children of the light And you all are falling for God's gonna get you God, I thank you for your presence. I thank you for your blood. I thank you for the people who are here. I thank you for the bunkers who have surrounded me with protection, God. Thank you, thank you. The fervent prayers of the righteous availeth much. Thank you for the power that's around me. I see and feel the strength of the prayers of the saints all over the world. Praying for me right now, and I know that I'm able now to sleep sound tonight, knowing that I got the word out. The attack is coming, but the darts is going to go ding because I got the full armor of God on. And thank you, God, for personally tailoring that suit to fit me. For those who have been being pulled by the lies and deceptions of this woman, I pray that you pull them out. I have a vision right now of you pulling them out of the fire. One by one, I see you. Since the time I've been alive, several of these people who are watching me right now have been convinced that they have been pulled into a lie. And I, I see them in my vision being pulled out of a pot of fire. One by one, you're pulling them out, pulling them out of her web of deception. You're pulling them out. I see it. God, I thank you for the vision of pulling those people out and saving their lives before it's too late. Many of them are left in that pot. They're going to die. These prophets have come forth and talked about how great the new year is going to be for everybody's going to be wealthy and millionaires and everybody's going to be well. And unfortunately, that's a lie. Many people are going to die this year. They're going to they're going to get sick. They're going to cancer is going to take them out. Heart attacks and strokes are going to take them out. People are going to starve to death. I will never, ever allow somebody to speak over my children and say everybody's going to be all right this year. That's a lie. And that's why I see some of those people in that pot, they're burning up right now because they're under her evil lair. But many others are being pulled out of that fire because of what I said today. God, thank you. To whom much is given, much is required. So I, too, need to watch myself, too. Stay on the wall. I love you, God. I give your name the praise in Jesus' name. Thank God. Amen. All right, y'all. Take care of yourself. Happy New Year to all of you. Go ahead and share this and subscribe to the channel if you want to. But if you subscribe to the channel, I'm sorry to tell you, you're going to get the truth, the whole truth and nothing but the truth. So help me, God. You're going to be snatched in the, the, the family of God. We are a noisy bunch over here. Meanwhile, for those of you who are bunkers, I see you on Zoom tomorrow. If you want to be a part of our private Zoom session tomorrow at 7 Central Standard Time, Hit me with an email. It's in the description below on YouTube. We'll send you out a link. Some of you are already requested. I see your emails. I haven't forgotten you. I've seen some of your emails. I haven't forgotten you. I'll send you the link today. Meet me tomorrow night. We all talk to each other. All right? Tomorrow, meet me. We'll talk about some stuff I learned in Moody Bible too. All right, I love y'all. Take care of yourself, one another. I'm going to play Old Lang Syne, Pentateuch, Pentateuch, whatever the, the group name 
that sings a cappella. I'm going to play a little bit of this to bring you into the spirit of the new year. <laughs> Old Lang Syne. For those of you who think I'm going to hell for playing that song, thank you. <laughs> I love y'all. Take care of yourselves. I'll Fellas, does it seem like you can't get a good woman? Ladies, wonder why you can't keep a man? 
Then read The Four Women That Men Desire, Volume 1, by Sir Walter Jones to figure out how to break the cycle. Go to Amazon.com to get your copy today.